Hello and welcome back to our lovely campaign in Imperator Rome as Heraclea Pontica. Uh, let's quickly check the achievements that I'm planning on going for. So we're not going to show gained achievements. Uh, it's basically these two. Form Persia and own Ganzak, Nevshapur and Gur. And then starting as Heraclea Pontica, form Persia while your ruler belongs to the Achaemenid dynasty. These are the two that I want. Three great fires in Heraclea Persica. Uh, they're quite difficult. Uh, let's actually just open that up again. Uh, Ganzak, Nev, Shapur, and Gur. Let's let's see where they are. Um, Nev, Sha, Nev, Shapur. There you are. That's this one. Ganzak is right here. That's fine. And then Gur is right here. I'm okay with this. I think. Some of those are needed here. Ganzak is. Uh, Nevshapur is not. And nor is the other one. But they're in the, the right regions. So, I mean, it's okay. It's not like I need to you know go way out of my way to find something to uh, attack. So, I'm entirely okay with this. Um, oh, interesting. Phrygia is allied also with Byzantium. So, maybe I want to do that too. We'll have this kind of trifecta going on. So I'm okay with that. I'm spending so much political influence to increase people's opinion of me, which is it's a bit weird. Um, peaceful approach. Uh, Trapezus gains 50 opinion. Do I care about Trapezus's opinion of me? Not particularly, but I do want the peaceful bonuses. So I'm going to go with that. No, 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 no. Phrygia, 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 Phrygia. No, 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 no. Who am I allied with? Pont I'm going to break the alliance with Pontus. Oh, Frigia, please. Please, 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 please. Can I have military access? Yes, thank you. Uh, I can't afford to send you a gift. We're, we're improving opinion with you still, yes? Yes, we are. Um, please don't break the alliance. I need you so hard. Matter of Bithynia. Um, let's go with Peaceful again, because I prefer the bonuses there. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't do this to me. <laughs> Don't do this to me. If I can call him into war, he will stay with me. That's all I'm thinking. This mission will complete on the 1st of December. If he if he would stay allied with me until the 1st of December, we'd be totally in business. Um... <sighs> There's no way... I mean, I could do that. Oh, that's, that actually doesn't cost me any anything at all. If this is the only way to get Phrygia on side, I will go with a show superiority war goal. They've honored it. Oh, thank fuck. Okay. Well, I'm going to immediately go here because there is fuck all garrison. And we can immediately take you he's only got six troops whereas I have way way more uh, you're gonna arrive on the 24th of June we're not gonna have it sieged by then so we are flanking the crap out of him. he his, his his supply trains will kill my supply train but we're gonna kill everything else that he has Especially with the lovely bit of flanking we've got going on. Perfect. And now we're going to take... Oh, come off it. There was no people here. It's mine now. Right. Persia is helping me out. Thank fuck for that. That's this. I would also love to take this, but I understand if um, Phrygia would, would take that. I definitely want this one, though. But we do need Phrygia to come and help. Getting down there would be super handy. Stop you building that fort. Also, it would stop Phrygia taking it. Insulted by... Phrygia. Fr Phrygia, please. Please, my dude. Please, my dude. My dude, please. Stop building this fort. Also, a lot of slaves if I do some sieging. Yes. The fridge is coming... We're going to use them as a battering ram to take 
as much of Heraclea Pontica as we possibly can. Although it works, it works, score cost goes up, but the diplomatic reputation and opinion maximum is going to really help us not be murdered by Phrygia, which which was the reason that I was, was going to go for them. Yeah, we've taken a bunch of their uh, provincial capitals, mostly to prevent Phrygia from doing the same. Uh, probably, though, Phrygia will be the one to take this. Oh, you've got fuck all in the way of morale. So I'm just going to get involved. No, you know what? I'm just going to go here. Need this before you take it. Perfect. I want this city. I want this city. Uh, you actually might not be able to take this siege from me if I get here fast enough. I might be able to steal the siege. Turbulent priests. I could spend a bunch of money to get two loyalty or lose ten loyalty and five legitimacy. I'm actually going to spend the money. Uh, it's a crazy idea, I know, but I'm going to do it. I, I am already leading the siege. Oh, beautiful. I have just stolen the siege from you. All of this will be mine. Oh, man, this war is going phenomenally well. We are not at war with Pontus. He did not... Pontus did not accept the call to arms. Somehow. Somehow it is true that that did not happen. Don't know how, but yeah, you know what? It's, it's fine. So, what we could do is take a shit ton of territory. Like, veritable fuck ton of territory. New Omen. Pop conversion speed. We're already up to 6.25, so we've gone up by 2%, which is, is better than none percent. Um... I don't know who you were. You must have been my Mog. So we need a new Mog. And let's go with Cleocus Andriconid. Nailed his name, naturally. But yeah, this this was a really good idea. With it being a show superiority, everything is much more expensive, as you can tell. So that is 28. And, and that's a ton. There's probably not much I can take. I could take that much. I can't take everything. Because that's 131. But we could take, you know, take a, a chunk. A good, a good chunk. 90 war score there. I think that might be what I do. It's 21 aggressive expansion, which sucks. But it's something I'm going to have to deal with. Because if we want to uh, win, we, we need to do what we need to do. Fridge has actually given me this as well. We could set for peace Sinop and take his land too. Um, or not. Sinop, I guess this counts as Sinop as well. If I was to try and peace out right now, they would still not accept what I'm offering. He's fully occupied, but he don't want to accept it. Is this the same? It is the same bloody place. So I kind of do want to take the territory. But doing that... Oh, sh shitting hell. Right, you're not going to give me access, but I do want you to be not here. So maybe I'll just wait until 36 months have passed. Uh, and we'll see what happens then. Seems like Amisos, at least, is able to go over there. Dynastic Depression. It has reached our ears that Oxythyres, the jealous, ambitious son of ours, um, child and heir of Ben Bizen, Ben Ben Bizen, Ben Bizen, and Mastris, has started to develop a jealous, hateful view of his half sister Sisigambis. Uh, the rivalry seems to stem from Oxythyres' worries that children from the more recent marriage will be favoured, removing his chances to inherit. Evidence has arisen that, encouraged by close friends and relatives, Oxythyres may even be planning to remove Sisigambis from the picture permanently. We could manipulate this opportunity to our advantages. Um, I'm going to try and move him carefully away from this path. I, I don't want him to murder the daughter. So let's hope that he doesn't murder the daughter. I'm gonna go with some import value while I still like if I as soon as I take all this territory I'm gonna have much more expensive uh, techs. So we're gonna we're gonna wait on that one. 
Germany. Because at the moment, in the war, Amisos. I'd really rather Amisos wasn't in the war, but I can't get to him because uh, Pontus won't give me military access. Which makes sense. I probably wouldn't allow it either. And Patrigoni still has an army. That's, uh... It's interesting. So we can't ask you to peace out until 57. So in a year's time... That's just been gonna get auto capped again. I think we're just gonna go and stand over there. Could also start fabricating a claim on Pontus. Would probably be a good idea, right? Okay. If Amosos was to actually control this, no, we can't. We can't go there. Growing a friendship. I have appeared to develop a strong camaraderie with Menos Menemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemen
So I only got two provinces here, so that's not going to happen either. All right, so uh, fair enough. Paphlagonia is fine. We can't do anything there yet. Good place for a city. Uh, uh, the provincial capital, sorry. Here, uh, it's a little bit iffy, but really not much I can do about it right now. The fort, though, I will keep. It's a decent place for it. Should also be a fort in Salar, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm not too unhappy with the way this is going so far. Do you have any buildings that are shit that I can delete? Did you have any buildings? No, nothing. Alright, well hopefully... Hopefully Phrygia won't break the alliance, but... You know what? They probably will. They are at war with uh, Thrace at the moment. Byzantium is at war with Seleucids and Egypt. That means you're at war with the Seleucids and Egypt. Yes, you are. That's very interesting as well, actually. Phrygia might be a little bit distracted. Let's make friends with you. Right, we have a new person ready to join our ranks. The General of the First, I'm thinking, is probably a good idea. He's quite good. Magid? Oh no, you just become a new head of a family. Right, that makes more sense. Um, and maybe the Epidamnus. He's my husband, so having a head of a family be very much um, linked in with the royal family is a good idea. So let's actually go with the Stratonids. And then you, I don't care about whatever. Right, so Scorn family, the Stratonids, of course, naturally. Um, so, the Gladiator, we need to make this guy happy with us. So, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll lose 10 political influence, that's okay. Yeah, Stratonids, we need to give a job to. I mean, your job is just consort. It's probably not good enough. You actually also the Artabid. Uh, let's remove this guy and put in this guy here, and then everything is actually fine now. Uh, let's also get a new trade good. Probably gonna get some fish. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, you can't trade. Oh, yeah, we've got no money. Armenia would ally me, so depending on how wrecked they get from Colchis is whether I decide to ally them or not. Um, exotic gifts. I don't have this much money, but it has to be done. It has to be done. I need to be friends with this guy. Can't entice unless you do that. And lose, gaining five tyranny and ten political influence. Also worth it. I need to be this man's friend. The treasury of Clearchus Achaemenid. Yeah, he'll calm down in, in time. That's fine. I just lose some popularity. That's, that's okay. We do have a disloyal character now. My son. You already had a spouse and I guess you died. The spouse died. You can have Sinop as a thing to make you happy and a new wife. Uh, I'm going to go with Roxanne. Splendid. And also, you are disloyal -ish. Let's go with that. You can have a, another holding as well. There you go. Everyone's loyal again. I don't know if there's any way that I can make Phrygia friendly with me. Insult. No, fuck you. You insulted me. Oh, insults work both ways. You animal. I have now become friends with the governor of Bithynia. Very nice. So when you... If you reach 25 loyalty, we can entice you. You are also going to get a rebellion. So I'm hoping that that's going to work in our favor as well. We can export some fish from Paphlagonia Inferior, getting some freedom and happiness. I'll do that. Happily. Pontus, friend, yes. Armenia, I hope you don't die too hard. Because I might need you to replace Phrygia as a friend. Pop promotion speed. 
Absolutely. Where you're standing right now is gaining food. You are not standing in a place that you can't stand in, so that's good as well. Bad planning. Lose some morale of armies. I'm okay with that. My stability has increased as well, so 56 stability. It's good. Phrygia broke the alliance, naturally. I now have a claim on Pontus. Probably not good at this point in time. You want some leather? Decline. Leather is really good. Giving me slave output. And it's much better than the bonus to light infantry that it would give me otherwise. So, yay. I'm quite happy with what I've got. Right. Well, with that, I am going to end the episode here. We were allied with Phrygia for a grand total of one, one episode. Yay. <laughs> oh, shite. Uh, I'm going to be friends with... I'm going to end the episode, but and then we're going to have a think about who we want to be allied with. Um, Colchis or Armenia? I mean, both would be handy, um, but I'm probably not going to be able to get both. And also this rebellion against Phrygia. Cappadocia will be leaving uh, Phrygia in this. So, I mean, maybe these guys will as well and be able to jump on them. I don't know. We'll find out in the next episode. I hope to see you there. Um, if you enjoyed it, like button, comments, always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.